Hello, in this tutorial we are going to look at scientific calculator. We are going to design scientific calculator using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. I already have um, the one we have done, uh, I've worked on before and um, as you will see this uh, calculator is a very simple calculator but it has some scientific functions and you can carry out simple operations and then um, execute it. So uh, this is what we want to design in this tutorial. And uh, the format of this tutorial will be in three formats. We are going to create the HTML in this first tutorial. The second tutorial will be based on the CSS file and the last lab will be on the JavaScript. Now, let's go ahead and start our project. Um, on your desktop, you create a folder. I'll call this one um, Scientific Calculator. Okay. And then um, I'm going to create a file here. Right click this. Name. Come to text. So this is a basic file, the home page. I'll be using a Sublime text as my editor. So let's start with the HTML part right away. As you can see on the screen, we'll zoom in a bit. So call this um, scientific. And then um, in the body text, we are going to create uh, some divs in um, the body segment of this uh, tag. And it will be in three forms. We need to create a div that will hold the calculator, the external part of the calculator. So we'll go ahead with the div. This one, no hoodie. Call this a uh, um, container. Then come over here. Then inside the uh, div, I'll create the the display. Container. This will be the screen. So I'll call this one. Um, let me give it a class instead of using that. Call this class. Um, call it um, display or screen. Yeah. Call it screen. Now I'm going to create this uh, uh, input form, an input uh, form that will take in the data. So come in here, input. The type is text. And then I'm going to come to the ID. I'm going to use the name, give it an ID. Call it an ID of maybe a um, screen in this format. And then um, I'll also give it a, a, I'll give it a kind of size. Mm. See what I've done so far. Save it, go to my folder, then I open it in a browser. 
So um, what you see is what you get. So we can only see this right now um, on the screen because there's nothing in our container right now. So let's go ahead and create the other part of it, which is the last um, div. Now in this div, I'm going to call this um, give this like class ID. Call this one like button. These are the buttons that will be used in the in the, in the tutorial, in the calculator rather. So let that wait the uh, button uh, generation. Let's start with a simple uh, button generation. So let me start with um, this. Let's pick this paragraph. Come over here. Impute. Then type it for button. Fresh uh, browser. 
good. You can see the buttons. These are the buttons, as you can see here. Now, don't worry about the appearance. We are going to do that in the second video, which is using CSS to put a beautiful outlook to this um, tutorial. Now, we need to add the um, we need to add the aspect that has to do with uh, the scientific function. As you can see in uh, the tutorial I showed you earlier on, this the scientific part of the uh, tutorial. Now, uh, let's let me show you the, what I mean by that. As you can see here in this calculator sample, here. Um, Open with Google Chrome. So this aspect here, we want to design. We are done with designing these parts. We are now going further to design these other parts. So I want to encourage you to pay good attention as we work on this um, part. So let's go into the segment. Now back to the. Um, Account. So what I'm going to do, I'm still going to copy each of these functions, these as you can see, and use it to create those um, same uh, functions. So what I'm going to do now is I'll copy this still. This time I'll come up and press number of ten, paste it there. One, two, and then three. Now, I'll start from the bottom. One, two, three, here. So, in this case, I'll change this one to mode. That stands for modulus. This other one stands for memory. And plus, this one stands for close bracket. And open bracket, which is parenthesis. So the latest, yeah. Then come over here. This stands for recall. Good. Then I go to the next one. This stands for name. Vertical function. This stands for log. This stands for exponential.